In this movie about making monograms, we're going to create the simple square shaped monogram with some inside details. We will start by creating a new card that is 5 by 7 in size. And I'm going to again delete the text box that gets created in the card to begin with. I'm going to come over to the left hand toolbar and insert my fixed shape that is a square. I'm going to click on it to make it active, drag one of the corners upward to resize it. Then I'm going to drag the whole square and reposition it. I'm going to right click on it, choose layout, and choose my color. In this case, I'm going to choose this color over here and click OK. Make it easy, I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to shrink it down a couple of clicks, which I will show you on the left hand toolbar using a smaller icon. I'm going to right click on the newly created text box, choose layout, choose a color, choose white as my border color. And I'm going to make this fairly small. We'll try making this, say, 1 100 of an inch. And as you can see, it's a very small there. Now, to make sure that it is exactly centered, I'm going to click both items together and use my centering tool. That made sure they were aligned together. I'll show you that more dramatically just to show you how that works. I'm going to highlight them both, select the centering tool, and since they're both active, it aligns one to the other. At this stage, I am going to use a font and some of the tools from the monogram tool. I'm going to use the PE Virco Diamond shape. I'm going to use a border pattern. In this case, I'm going to choose this one here. And I'm going to choose my text color to be white. Click OK. And it's going to insert in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to drag it over here. And now I want to make it bigger. I'm just going to keep clicking until I get it to be the size that I want. One of the things I forgot to do was give it the right letter. So I'm going to right click and choose layout. And I'm going to change my letters so that it is DLW. And there we go. And now to position everything correctly, I'm going to highlight all three items at the same time and use the centering tool. And it adjusted to make certain that the monogram is in fact in the right place. Now, if that looks too large for the card, again, we could simply highlight everything and use the shrink icon. And then when we're all done, just recenter everything to make sure that things stay positioned together.